Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. First off, I'm going to go ahead and show you this one from one of my previous videos. I'll link it up top. I just wanted to show it off after I put some varnish on it. I must say, it is a beauty. I didn't do resin on it just because of the, how the edges are on those canvases. Figured it would be more of a pain than anything. And at first, in this first part of the video, I just want to show you, not everything turns out great. I mean, if you're having problems with this technique I mean I'm just gonna show you look I mean this is me testing stuff out before you know I I work out the kinks and figure out how I want to do this pour for these commission coaster sets so I just want to show you like we see my cell activators doing something I don't know something dumb you can't stand it and like I've told you the weather affects the cell activator so we're going to go with this, and then I'll go with um, Arteza Silver as the cell activator. Because, I mean, I use that on me testing with uh, like an oval with all just interference and having silver as the cell activator. Did fine with that. We'll see what it does with this. Um, I would just, you know, the, the person that wanted it, wanted it like a Americana type color palette. And so we'll see if silver works. A little bit better now it the silver likes to clump up a little bit like have thicker patches in the cells or veins or lacing whatever you want to call it this is a new like I just mix up a little bit of new uh, white cell activator you know just do something right now I'm getting kind of frustrated with it so now I'm gonna play does anybody else do this because this, this is what I do and I start getting aggravated so white and silver cell activator like you know it's like somebody somebody holding the stick trying to poke something like do something come on work with me here um this one actually i left it for a little bit and it did sell up a little bit better but it's very slow um so now i'm going to at this point, what I have done is I opened up a new bottle of uh, Australian Floetrol because the one that I've been working out of is, I want to say it's either a year old or, yeah, I want to say it's about a year old. I mean, we're reaching, what, the year mark of all the quarantine mess. Ugh. It's been a long year, everybody, hasn't it? Uh, so, yeah. Floetrol, my, the one I've been using is about a year old. Um, so this is a new bottle. Now I'm going to say that it worked a little bit better as far as when I'm down there looking at it. The fact that, I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but um, like for me, some, it comes to some types of pigments, not all of them, even though I'll mix them all up the same way. Some of them are kind of grainy. So I don't know if it's just the fact I need more pigments or like I figured it would be due to the fact that it, it's not dispersing the pigments like, you know, like it's supposed to. But, you know, I can do the same thing, same measurements with another one and it not do it. But I'm not here to troubleshoot that. That's just something that irritates me whenever it's white cell activator and there's a pigment in there that causes that issue. So there is that if anybody has any uh, info on that I'm all ears because it's something that really does irritate me <laughs> and I can't figure it out um, but again I mean swipes if you if you can't get the bloom right try a swipe I mean sometimes it's just not gonna work the way you want it to work and you know with this commission piece they didn't say if they wanted to blow out or a swipe, so dealer's choice on my part. Um, but you can't argue with the results. I mean, you saw the blooms, the blowouts. I mean, I might have had a bad day about blowing out the cell activator, but you can't argue results. Um, so yeah, if you are having problems with that, try one or the other. If you don't like the way they look, try a different base paint it may look a little bit better um, like I've shown in a couple of my other videos you know same colors black base and white base they both look great but they totally look different so right now 
I am with the viewpoint of swipes are going to be my jam on this one and go with it. I'm not going to use silver as a cell activator. I'm just going to use the new white with the new Australian Floatrol, which is about three parts of the Floatrol to one part Amsterdam titanium white, um, give or take. That's about the only thing I do measure now is the uh, is the cell activator. And on top of that, I will, well, yeah, I don't even measure for pigments, really. It's just a little dab of this, a little dab of that, and, you know, get them all wet and make sure there's no clumps in it and everything's, you know, mixed up very good. Um, so, yeah. Past that, I hope everybody's been doing good. Everybody in my house is on the mint. Yay. I'm so happy. I'm so tired of having to deal with stomach bug and food poisoning. So I'm so happy it's over with. Um, as I showed you on my swipe tool, I put the cell activator on it and then, you know, swipe. Uh, some people have asked where the cell activators come from and I just put it on my tool outside of the camera's view. Um, another thing is I need to, I know I've said it in a previous video, sorry it's been a it's been a very uh crazy what seems like month now um and it's not even getting any better in terms of like work related stuff or well, last week was pretty much all stomach bug slash food poisoning um but uh this week is testing at school so i pretty much didn't get to sit didn't get to sit down at work all day. I know not everybody gets to sit down. I get that. But in terms of what my normal business is at work is I at least get to sit down for a little bit. Not doing testing. It's pretty much walking from walking around the whole school all day until it's all done. But back to this. Uh, I've been flirting with the idea of doing a coaster set as a giveaway. I just don't know if I want to have it where you pick your colors or pick some of your colors or just choose one of the, some of the ones that I've already done. That If I still have them, then that could be it. Just because it takes so long with the whole um, epoxy part of it. I don't want you to have to wait longer than you need to, but... Again, that's just my my battle in my head, at least. So if anybody, if you want to leave your thoughts about it, I'm all ears. Be glad to hear about it. Um, it's just, yeah. You know, make it, let it dry for a week or two, and then epoxy. I don't know. I don't know what's safe to say for it to go. I really don't like them to go until I know they're fully cured, which I know takes... Sometimes up to a month, even though I know KS resin is, you know, after so many days, but they're not fully cured. Let's let's just be honest with that. So, anyway, if you have input, be glad to hear it. Um, hopefully I can get around to that. Uh, if not this week or next week, I do have spring break coming up. So I will, I know I'll have a little bit of free time on that. Um, as far as my colors tonight, I don't think I've said those yet. Uh, Windsor Blue is the blue that I'm using, followed with Taffy by TLP. And then I have a red that I've used in a couple of my videos. I don't remember what red it is because it's just that old. <laughs> That's how old it is. I didn't label it. I'm also adding Arteza Silver into this, and the really dark red is Granacha. Uh, it's a TLP color, and I'll say it again, I really love the, the Granacha red. I mean, it's its own point, I'll say that, especially after resin, especially after resin. And I have another one coming up. You know, funny enough, you make something a lot of people like, you end up having to try to recreate them 
So I will actually have another red and what red and black and gold uh, 12 by 12. So there's that. This time though, I added Grenacha. I didn't the last the first one I did I didn't have that in there, so I added Grenacha into this one. And I, it looks looks great. Um, but yeah, I'll be releasing that soon. And yeah, so look at this. This is uh, love the swipes. I think these look great. Here's a close up. I want to say thank you again for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. Uh, if you have donated to my channel, I want to say thank you so graciously. I really do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, here they are. I think they look great. I mean, I can't argue with the swipes. But anyway, everybody take care. Thank you again.